blocks in Drupal 8 have had a major overhaul. They're actually broken down into two modules. The block module simply handles the placement of blocks in regions. The custom block module implements a new entity which allows you to create block types and to hold block content. You can create different block types and they're fieldable. This is pretty exciting. If I click on structure and block layout, you'll see block layout, which is the first module I mentioned, and then the custom block library, which we've already played with just a little bit. And this is the other module. The great thing about custom blocks is that again, they are completely fieldable. So let's add a custom block that allows users to download PDFs from a particular hotel's node. Click on types and you'll see here there's a basic block. Let's add a custom block type and let's call it brochure. In the description field, a hotel marketing block for promotional activities. Click save. And now we have a basic block, which you're used to, and a brochure block. Let's manage the fields. This should now be pretty familiar to you. All right, let's add a field. We're going to allow people to download a PDF. So let's go ahead and choose file and call this hotel brochure. There'll be public files. Click Save Settings. And down here under File Extensions, put a comma and put PDF. This will allow text files or PDF files to be uploaded and therefore downloaded. We'll leave the file directory as it is, and we won't have a maximum upload size because they're PDFs. We'll enable the description field just in case someone needs a description. Click Save Settings. All right, go ahead and click on Manage Display, and let's hide the hotel brochure label and we'll leave it as a generic file. Click Save, and we're ready to use this new block type. 